Dear Disc Diary, well, it's been about four months since I started playing disc golf, and I gotta say, it's been a fun ride so far. Here's where I was during my first round. This game is, it's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Um, you know, you gotta learn the different discs and how they fly, and uh, you know, coming off of shoulder surgery, you know, I've gotta be taking it careful, but hey, I got three and a half years, so I think I'm making progress. Definitely making progress. I've seen dramatic improvement in my game. That first round, I shot 12 up. Now I'm regularly shooting two or three down, albeit on my home course, which is a pretty easy course. I've improved my form, at least for now I've stopped running up on my shots. Turns out I look like a marionette with a bad puppeteer. I've played in four tournaments, and I've met my tournament goals in three of those four. I've traveled and played in a couple of states at this point. I got a sponsor in Wild Discs. I've even introduced my one-year-old granddaughter to the game. But she needs to focus on walking and balance before we can work on her form. I've been invited to play with other people that see what I'm trying to accomplish and want to help. More on that later. But one of the biggest things I've seen is the incredible community that exists in this sport. So I want to showcase some of the people that I've met, as well as others that are working with in the game. As much as I'm working to turn pro by the time I'm 50, I also want to be a part of the overall disc golf community. Using disc golf to help others and make the world a better place. People that are using the game to beat the odds and overcome adversity, like these folks. No, I got, I got chemo yesterday, and I'm out here playing disc golf. At just 24 years old, Peter Green from Milwaukee is battling a disease doctors say mainly happens to people in their 60s and 70s. I was diagnosed with stage 4 B-cell lymphoma. He was diagnosed in August and began chemotherapy shortly after. And they really had no answers for me on why it's happening, but, you know, it just is it's happening. life. <laughs> But that's not stopping him from pursuing his passion, disc golf. I use disc golf as a crutch. I, it seems every time I go out and play, it completely changes my mood. It helps him stay resilient. Do it for TMJ4. His mood really changed last month when he won a tournament to become the top ranked amateur disc golfer in Wisconsin. He didn't hold the title for long, though. It was difficult to keep playing in tournaments while going through chemo, which is part of the reason he lost his number one ranking. But I did get to hold it, hold that title for like a month, which is kind of cool. Despite that, he is still one of the top disc golfers in Wisconsin, even while battling cancer. Doctors have a positive outlook and believe he will beat it, but he is mounting medical bills. We got some of the bills a couple, couple weeks ago. It's, it's a little scary. We're, we're well past that six-figure mark. It's not just on the brink of six figures, it's up there. I also went ahead and joined the PDGA and got a PDGA number. I guess that's necessary in order to get a rating when I compete in more tournaments. I know it's a long shot, but I've also applied for additional sponsorships for the 2023 season. I plan to play in a lot more tournaments in 2023 and maybe help out some sponsors along the way. So onward and upward as we go into the winter here. I don't imagine I'll be playing as much as I did over the summer, but I'll get out there every chance that I get. As I mentioned earlier, some people have reached out to me and invited me to play with them. They want to help me along my journey, and I am exceptionally grateful for that. So dear Disc Diary, I'm blessed and thankful for the amazing disc golf community that I've become a part of, and I'm excited to help that community and this sport grow. Success.